Hey crafters, I am back with the second drill with me for Lady Tremaine and I wanted to show you a little bit of the progress I made in between the videos. I have a bit of the pink border started and framing up around her it is super sticky. I have a bit more of her outfit and I've put a few drills in. Now this is a super, super confetti diamond painting, which is great because it gives a lot of detail. But I just wanted to show you, this is one drill color and it almost does its own checkerboard. Now, in the dress, I put the last few drills I didn't get to, it's a little bit of a lighter purple. It doesn't pick up that well, but the dress is actually two different shades of purple. Today I'm going to focus on her hair and see how much I can get done in about 20-30 minutes. Let's get started. Let's craft together. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with DMC 939, which is going to be the symbol for seven. And she's got streaks of this color through her hair. 939 looks really almost just like black. It is a very dark shade. Um, to me, I don't see a difference between 9.39 and 3.10, but I'm sure there is just the tiniest bit. And as I lean over, I might create a bit of a shadow on the canvas, so I apologize for that. But with this super confetti, there's at least a few threes together, so I'm going to use my three spacer on that. And how are you guys? I hope everything's going well. I hope everyone is staying safe and sane. Things here are good. Oh, got some wax over up. Ah. Uh, so it is 4th of July weekend. And I'm really excited here. It's a, a, th a three day weekend for us. Everyone has Friday off. The kids have Friday off from camp. And, you know, before COVID, our neighborhood always did a large barbecue gathering, had music playing, all the kids running around and playing. But now, with everything going on with COVID, all large gatherings have been canceled. I believe large gatherings in Germany are canceled until August 31st. That's definitely the, the rule here. And you can have gatherings of 10 or less. I'm not sure what it is in the States and you guys can put it, you know, put it down below so I can know. Or if it's by state, put your state. So I don't know if you're able to have gatherings or what, but with our neighborhood, the German police do drive through the neighborhood. They will drive on the sidewalk in between all of the buildings and it's heavily enforced. So we decided we're, we're not gonna, the community's not gonna do anything for 4th of July. And we started to think about what we wanted to do as a family. And for a few days, we talked about just grilling out, have the kids playing outside, put up the inflatable pool. Maybe we'll have a few drinks and just kind of stay in the sun. Now the military base I don't know what's going on over there, but we knew it was gonna be really low key. And then we got this idea of, hey, do we wanna travel somewhere? And hotels in Germany were actually closed. They were closed for, I don't they have these rules of like non, they were closed to non-Germans and it was only like certain essential business only. And some of the hospitals actually turned into, um, temporary housing for COVID first responders. But they started opening up in the middle of May and we've been traveling out and about through Germany. And I can tell you about some of the places we've been to. But right now, we started looking for this weekend. And when hotels first opened up, it was really affordable. I mean, we were able to get here like a family room two beds, two TVs, you know, breakfast included for like a hundred euros, maybe, maybe less. One was 90 euros. 
So we've been able to pop out a little bit more and see a bit of Germany. And we were looking for this week, um, and it the price is just, they were, it went back up. I mean, I don't know if it's because it's the beginning of summer, it's tourism season, Germans and Europeans are traveling back around here, but um, I, I didn't understand, prices went up. So we decided to kind of expand our search area a little bit, and we saw in the Czech Republic for Prague. And Prague was only 112 euros a night. So that includes breakfast for a family of five, which honestly, if we went out to breakfast, that would be like 50 euro. So it includes breakfast and we decided very last minute, we're gonna do this. So I've scheduled this to upload as I'm actually kind of driving and, and going there. I might, I might even push it to schedule while I'm there. That way I'm not uploading too many videos close to each other, but I'm gonna to go to the Czech Republic and I'm really excited about it. We were able to get a pet friendly room, so Axel's gonna come with us. And this will probably be the only time we go to the Czech Republic because, um, I don't know, it's, it, you know, it's not the kind of place I thought of traveling to multiple times. So we're really looking forward to it. We're gonna try and make it the most. Um, I don't see any more sevens. Oh, the the back of her hair. Let me keep going. And we actually don't have that much planned to do. We were able to find a really good hotel that's close to the downtown area and we just want to be so laid back and go with the flow we think we're just gonna walk out of the hotel and see where we end up like look at the architecture of the old city pop into a cafe get some coffee get some lunch and go with it see if we can find a museum to go to or a monument to look at or a park to let the kids play in and we're really excited about it so that is gonna be our weekend. Um, the the only thing that makes me a little bit worried is three kids in the car for like a six hour drive, which is never a six hour drive. Let me tell you, we have to stop about every hour and a half because someone either needs to pee or they're thirsty and they need another drink, which then ties into the problem of everybody needing to pee. Or it's like, my sister, she's looking at me. Oh, my brother's foot is touching me. And it's like, that's it. We need 10 minutes out of the car because y'all are driving me crazy. But, um, so we'll see how long of a drive it actually takes us this time. I hope not too long, but we're actually gonna get there uh, Thursday evening pretty late. But that way we'll, we'll be able to fall asleep and we can start Friday and have a full day to just get going. I don't see any more sevens in her hair. So I do see this long line of seven here, but I'm just trying to focus on her hair at the moment and not the background. So I'm gonna stop with seven. Um, the next drill I was gonna do, I'm gonna do, is this symbol coming up really well? Here, let me get the camera closer, actually. It's just, it's gonna stick onto this super sticky. Oh, what am I doing? It's all over the place. It's gonna stick on this super sticky canvas. Sorry, guys. Help me. There we go. So this is actually, it's like a little tree. If we were playing cards, um, what is that, a spade? <laughs> Terrible with that. I call them trees or puppy dog feet when we play cards. Diamonds, hearts, trees, and puppy dog feet. But I'm gonna go ahead and focus on that one. That one is a really pretty shade of purple and it's in the bottom of Lady Tremaine's dress. And I was hoping by putting it in this blue case, it would turn up a little bit better. But check it out, it's pretty good lighting. It is a very nice purple, like a royal purple. And if you can see these symbols, it is super confetti. 
So you add the fact that I'm already a very slow diamond painter and I've gotten a few emails of people being like, hey, looking forward to crafting together, but um, you know, I need to finish I need to finish another project I'm working on before I start this diamond painting. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. You know I'm such a slow crafter, a slow diamond painter. Not only will you start it, you'll also finish it way before I ever will. You may start it late, but you'll finish it before me. Um, and so I, I meant to say that all of this confetti, in addition to me already being a slow diamond painter, means that I'm just going at a snail's pace. And then you know when I start talking and running my mouth that uh, I get distracted and I'm off on a tangent telling a story, but we're all doing this together because we're friends. And yeah, so I'm talking about hotels. Yes, focus, hotels in Germany. So our trip to the Czech Republic, we're really looking forward to. I wish there was a little bit more of some patriotic activities I could do with the kids. But the good thing is we've been talking every single day after their camp about the 4th of July, about patriotism, about kind of the culture and the idea around this holiday, why it's so important. And the kids, they're actually at an age that they're starting to understand and they're starting to ask questions. So at least we'll have that. And I think maybe for the actual 4th of July, if we could find, you know, not like a super nice restaurant, but if we could find a restaurant that's pretty, you know, it's nice and it, it's kid friendly, then maybe we'll get a, a sit down dinner and something a little bit more than the usual, like burgers and fries kind of deal. And chat, there's a, <laughs> You know, I'm a big fan of Disney. Uh, during COVID, Disneyland Paris released on their YouTube channel um, a video of their nighttime firework display. And we watched it, of course. I had my kids sit there and watch it with me. That way I had an excuse of why I just kept watching it over and over. But you know, maybe I'll put that on the iPad again so they can just see some fireworks. Because also, I mean, uh, the uh like the firework display when i was a kid like the washington dc fireworks you could also see those on tv so if we didn't go anywhere for fireworks we could at least turn that on but we're not going to have that over here so maybe i could find a live stream of some fireworks and the kids can check it out but actually since we're six hours ahead i'll either need to look at some videos from the previous year or we'll have to wait until sunday we want to find something fun, a good way to celebrate. Man, when I was a kid, I loved sparklers and they were so, <laughs> so dangerous. I would always burn my hand and it would hurt or I'd have it like too close to my feet and I was a little kid in flip flops and I'd burn my, burn my foot. <laughs> and I don't know, as a, as a parent, I just wish that my kids could experience something like that, but mm, we don't have any of that overseas. Um, one thing I do really like, um, since we're going out of town, I'm not going to have the chance to make it, but I will be making it. You better believe I will be making it when we come back. I like flag cake. So here's something that's interesting. If I say to you, flag cake, what comes to mind? Hopefully you just said an answer out loud because I'm just sitting here <laughs> listening to silence. <laughs> So for me, when I was a kid, we made a cake and we decorated it like a flag. And hopefully that's what you picked up from it. We, um, I, don't, I forget, it was in maybe like, I don't know, Highlights Magazine or something when I was a kid, I saw this recipe and it was actually just, I think you took the frozen Sara Lee pound cake from the frozen section of the refrigerator, the freezer aisle, the grocery store. You thawed it in the fridge for like a day you cut it into slices, you put whipped cream, or after you cut it in slices, you lay all the slices flat on a cookie sheet or in a cake pan. You put whipped cream on the slices or vanilla uh, frosting. I was never picky as a kid. I loved either one. And then my parents, I would decorate the stripes. I would put strawberries for the stripes and I would put blueberries to make it look like the blue around the stars and then we ate it. 
and I loved that and it was fun as a kid and we'll, I'll be doing that with the kids next week um I just I haven't I hadn't got the chance to pop over to the commissary and pick it up so I'll be doing that next week but I forget maybe two years ago two years ago I was talking to my husband and I was just like man I, I couldn't it was around 4th of July no wait maybe it was last year it was very recent so it was either last year or two years ago and I was talking to my husband about man I really wish we could do a flag cake for 4th of July and he just looks at me and he's like what is a flag cake and I'm like are you kidding me you know what what do you think it is flag cake what do you think it is and he's like I I, I don't know what is it and I'm like oh let's break down these two words flag and cake cake that looks like flag but he never made it as a kid so when I found that out I made him make a flag cake with me because <laughs> it's, it's finally at the point where the kids are old enough to do this kind of stuff they're old enough to slice and uh, not slice but if I slice the little pieces of the pound cake they can lay them flat and then they can put the icing on and they can do the stars and stripes and so I want to do that, but this is my problem. I'm pretty sure I was talking about hotels and now I'm talking about a cake. <laughs> Back to hotels. So um, we've actually been able to do a good amount of traveling since things opened up. Um, I think late May prices, prices were really great and early June prices were really great. And here's the thing. I don't even know how to explain this. I made videos. I made videos that whole time and I didn't put any of them online. And I, I should have. Maybe I still, I don't know, maybe I still will. But we went to Bonn, Germany twice. And I think I'm out of little trees. Oh, I always forget the back of her hair. Okay. Let me do the back of her hair while I talk to you about Bonn, Germany. So Bonn, Germany is about an hour, no, two and a half hours, pretty north of Frankfurt. And it was the capital of Western Germany back when Germany was divided before the unification. And it was, we'd never been, we just decided to go. It was lovely. We had an amazing time. First of all, we decided to stay right in the downtown, not not that super close, but we decided to stay like kind of in the city downtown metropolitan area. I think we were actually, without kids, we probably were a five minute walk to the actual city center with kids in the stroller, like maybe it was a little more like 10 because we don't want to rush them too much. And we loved it. It was a lot of fun. It is the home of Beethoven. So you're just kind of walking through the city and a lot of these old towns have statues and beautiful pieces of art. And then you're totally random, like very trendy modern store also thrown in. So it looks beautiful. And we just walk through and again, like I hope we do this weekend, we find a cafe, I would get a coffee, the kids could get a pastry or an ice cream. Um, and since it's the home of Beethoven, you have uh, street musicians set up playing violin and cello and there's just be beautiful music that echoes through the street. And I really liked it because this was the first time we had just walked around and we stumbled on a street market, like a street fair. And my husband and I really loved it because not only was it just a great experience, it also showed that, yeah, things are getting back to normal. You could have your outdoor farmer's market again and your flower market. And it was just a lot of fun. We ended up staying in a hotel right by the river. So we had a beautiful view because when everything first opened up and people weren't traveling, there were some amazing deals out there. Um, we would walk along the river, the kids would play, um, and it was fun. And the thing about Germany is it doesn't matter where you are, it seems like you're never more than a 10 minute walk from a playground. So part of our walking strategy is we just went from playground to playground and the kids loved it. And it was also just relaxing. We stayed in the room, watched TV, laid in bed, just enjoyed ourselves. And 
We loved it so much. We went back the next weekend. So we went back to Bond the very next weekend and we decided to stay for an extra day. Instead of just one night, we stayed for two. And what we did with our extra time is we did a river cruise. So in Germany, all of these beautiful bodies of water have these old school river boats. And when I say old school, I just mean that these companies have been around for maybe even a hundred years. And you have a boat tour and you just sit on the boat and you kind of glide down the river. And of course they have snacks and drinks and beer and things, but they also have audio descriptors of the buildings you're passing by and the, the history of the different things around you. So we really enjoyed it and the kids loved it. Having Doing the boat cruise, they were nice and entertained and quiet. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. So we went to Vaughn twice and it was really great. I would definitely go back to Bonn. I would plan another trip there. I really enjoyed my time. I would follow in the footsteps of my previous trips. It was just that great. And I really, I, I loved everything we did. Um, mm -hmm. And I know it's not far from our house. It's quick, but you know, it, it would depend on if we can get, you know, another really good deal like we stumbled upon last time. And, and then when did we go up? Uh, few weeks ago we decided to be a little more adventurous and go on another trip okay I don't see any more trees so I think I'm done with that one okay I'm gonna put these up and then pick another drill so we decided to go to Dresden and Dresden was kind of one of the reasons we ended up getting Prague in our head because Prague is only like a 30 minute drive from Dresden Hold on, let me put all my drills in. What do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Um, maybe this triangle. Which one is it? I think it is DMC. Yeah, that looks about right. DMC 823. It actually looks like it is a navy blue. Let's see if I can get this on the tray and get it to where you could see the color. Because everything's been picking up pretty dark in here recently. Yeah. I mean, it's a navy blue, but it's very close to black. Mm, these are part of the shades in her hair. So Dresden was beautiful absolutely beautiful another one of these cities on the river we did another boat tour really liked it we then um just walked through the city so the downtown area has you know museums beautiful churches a lot of a lot of culture a lot of history that you can just easily spend the whole day walking around and looking at and what really surprised me is Dresden did get pretty bombed out during World War II. Um, I even, I googled photos because I wanted to see what it looked like and it was just demolished. So when you see these beautiful buildings, they actually look really old. And my husband and I were talking about it and he explained, so he read in a book, that when they rebuilt the city, they purposely built it to look that way, to still kind of maintain the, the heritage they had and everything there looks very old. It looks hundreds of years old and it's not. It was all built in the 1950s. So that was also another really cool thing. And Dresden had just, the downtown area had these big open, not courtyards, but like large, Oh my gosh, the word is blanking. Uh, open spaces, like in between buildings and it's paved. And so the kids could run around and play and get energy out. So we really enjoyed Dresden. And we're just trying to see also as much as we can. So bidding starts soon. Dun, dun, dun. And by soon, I mean in the fall, but it's, 
you know, in the back of our mind. Bidding, ugh, I can do a whole video talking about bidding. Bidding is when we see what's available for our next post. We bid, we rank what we would want to, where we would want to go, what we'd want to do. And then we hope that we get one of the places that we bid on. So our time in Germany is only for two years. And as of now, as of July, we have hit a year here. So we have a year left and we want to make as much of it as we can, see as much of it as we can, because we really enjoy our time here and it's, it's easy to travel here with kids. So we've been out and about and just, of course, being safe, always being safe. Um, we here in, in Germany, you know, it's, it is required. It is the law with heavy fines. You wear a mask out in public. We do that. Um, so the kids are under the age of six. So they are not required to wear a mask, but when they become six, they, they are required. And when they went back to school, they had to wear a mask in school. So they're, they're pretty much used to it, but we wanna see as much as we can. And there's actually, there's actually two other cities that we really wanted to go to that are close to Frankfurt. They're, they're not a long drive, but the hotels, are, there's less dog friendly options for hotels with larger family rooms or if it's a dog friendly option It's something absolutely ridiculous like hundreds of euros a night. So no, thank you <laughs> That's not gonna happen But yeah Trying to get in as many adventures as we can I mean, If you've got anything awesome or fun planned, let me know because I'm one of those people, I like planning for trips. I like travel itineraries. That stuff really interests me. I like watching travel shows too. When it's something that's realistic, when it's like traveling to the Caribbean and doing this crazy stuff and going on a yacht and jumping off from a cliff, it's like, okay, not really my thing. But <laughs> when it's like, here's a three-day itinerary for Italy and museums and art galleries and great parks to see then I'm all about it I'm stuck to my TV of like wow look at that with with either my phone notes app open or piece of paper and I'm taking notes so Ugh. so I've been drilling for more than 25 minutes and yeah talking and you know I drill so slow when I talk but check it out I have not made as much progress as I had hoped, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to work a lot on Lady Tremaine. I'm going to get going actually because I need to get my, um, my kids at camp soon. So I'm going to work a lot more on Lady Tremaine and then when the next video I start it, oh, no finger in the camera frame, I will show you what her hair looks like completed and what the dress looks like completed. The good thing is there's only two or three more drill colors for the dress, and since it's checkerboard theme, that'll go pretty quickly. Uh, the hair is pretty confetti-like, so I'll get those done. And then I can do another drill with me of her face, and then maybe work on the background a little bit, but it probably will be whew, three or four days from this video to the next video, because I want to make sure I can do a bit of progress and you can see a little bit more of the background in the color. But I'm always around by email. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'm gonna go get my kids at camp and I'll talk to you soon. Bye crafters.